How yeah. much does Aaron Rodgers have to prove in this one? Listen, man, like, lo, yo, so let me say this first. When I heard Mina say bunny hop, RC, you already know what I was thinking. I'm, I'm sitting bunny here hop about, to get, coma, about to get it cracking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but, but listen, uh, Mina, hey, hey, America, America, Mina Kimes and Ryan Clark came to tell y'all about football. I don't give a damn about the X's and O's. I'm about the dudes and the legacies. So let's get to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has an opportunity right now to not be in the same discussion that Drew Brees is in, right? If you think about Drew Brees' career, yeah. there is not much you can put up against it outside of just winning one Super Bowl, right? If you're going to enter into that greatest of all time conversation, it's going to take multiple. It's going to take multiple because what's going to happen too, and Aaron Rodgers understands this at 37 years old, Patrick Mahomes ain't going to play in his last AFC championship or possibly Super Bowl in his career the, the way Kansas City has been doing it. This year, Aaron Rodgers took everything personal, but he did it with a great personality, a great feel. He came in talking about the success. He wanted to play free and have a good time. He wins this and then has the chance to win a Super Bowl. Let's say he meets Patrick Mahomes. Think about the storyline that's going to come out of that, y'all. We talking about two of the best, most talented guys we've ever seen at the position potentially could have a chance to go head-to-head -head in the Super Bowl. And Aaron Rodgers win that, and then we get another GOAT to enter the conversation along with Tom Brady. Absolutely. Now, first off, I think you're wrong here. We already know he's better than Drew Brees. It's not part of the conversation. It's not too, you know, poo-poo -poo Drew Brees' career in any way. Drew Brees was very well, good. Just the Super first Bowl. Hall of Famer. Yeah, he ain't you. never been. He ain't never been Aaron Rodgers. This is how Aaron Rodgers was sitting in his house on draft night when we was doing the little mega cast or whatever we were doing <laughs> when I was in the back. He was looking at his phone <laughs> like this, and he said, "You draft Jordan Love." Then he looked up. He said, "And I took that personally because that's the way that he's played this entire <laughs> season." But look at it. If, 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 if Aaron Rodgers wins the MVP, right? That's three. That puts him in rarefied air. The Jim Brown air. The Peyton Manning air. Tom Brady. Johnny Unitas. Mm. And yeah. now you add on top of that the second ring. We got to start talking about him in that goat conversation because we all love Joe Montana. We yeah. understand what he accomplished. There's no way we're picking Joe Montana before we pick Aaron Rodgers. This gets him in a different discussion. This puts Aaron Rodgers above. You were just talented and but though still dot, 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 dot. No, mm. it says you won two. You won when you were a young man. You won when you were an older man. And you had MVPs in both phases. Aaron Rodgers has a chance to change his narrative. And that's what this game is about. So you guys know me. You know, wins are not a quarterback stat is an, a message I live by. It's in my Twitter bio. Literally <laughs> argued the other day that Philip Rivers belongs in the Hall of Fame. Um, but I'm not, I will never die on Ring Mountain. However, you guys are right. Ryan is absolutely right uh, that if Aaron Rodgers did win another Super Bowl, we wouldn't just have to say – He's the most talented quarterback. I'd say Patrick Mahomes is in that conversation. Did Mina say was right? unequivocally say he belongs in the GOAT conversation. My, my, light, my screen hey. is getting brighter because the light is shining ha. upon me of uh, hey. Aaron Rodgers' greatness hey. right now. Hey. I'm just saying. Hey. Hey, I love it. Uh, Marcus. Mina gave a compliment. Marcus. While you dance, really fast, that uh, draft mega cast that Ryan brought up, remember when Ryan was like halfway through, he's like, oh, is this going somewhere? Like, he, he thought we were all just hanging it's out. <laughs> he didn't know it was going anywhere. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the best. He's Ryan like, was like doing just whatever he wanted to do, he's and he's like, out. oh, this is going somewhere. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.